Hello everyone, Tina Gale back again today and I have a sketch from Nuts About Sketches. This is the sketch for the week of January 11th, 2015. So be sure to hop on over to the um, website to pick up the free sketch and you can play along with us. So today I had just a, a few photos. These are really old. They are from 1992. So this is my son and he is now 24. So yes, I do not scrap chronologically and I actually love that because I get to go back and look at these photos and just remember what a happy baby he was and how much fun we had when it was bath time. He would just sit and play for as long as I would let him um, and just splash and laugh and he was just such a happy baby and he's still just a happy young man. So he just brightens the world around him. Love him to pieces. So anyways, I have some papers that are a little bit older, not, not too old, but um, probably last year maybe. I didn't check. Um, so it's Fancy Pants Down by the Shore is the background paper that I'm using that has the little well on it. And that blue paper that I matted the two smaller photos is uh, from that same collection, and these yellow strips are. And if you'll notice, this was one of the strips from the pattern paper that has all of the border strips, and it had already been cut. And I added it on top of the branding strip of that paper, and then I'm going to trim this paper down to 12 inches. And I did that because I wanted all of that wave um, to show and the little well. So that's one idea if you want to add something to the bottom, you know, just cover up over the branding strip. Nobody's going to know it except for you guys that watch the video. So then I had another sheet of this paper and I decided to cut the little well out. And I'm trying to be careful not to totally ruin that sheet of paper so I have quite a bit left to, to use on it because I love that paper. It's great for little journaling spots and um, matting photos and stuff. It's just a really pretty color of paper. So I just cut out this well and I'm going to pop dotting over the top of the photos just to give some dimension and a little bit of fun to the layout. So that's one thing if you have um, duplicates of your papers that have uh, iconic shapes that you want to fussy cut to use as your embellishments, try cutting a second one and pop dotting it over. Or if you're doing your die cuts and your punches, do the same thing. Um, put one down and then cut another one out and pop dot it up. Now one of the things when I cut out that the tail is just really, really thin and so I, I didn't want to take the chance of nicking it or having it torn off. And so there was just a little bit of white showing and there was also that white edge just from the, the paper. And so I just took a black sharpie and kind of uh, edged around that shape so that it's not noticeable. I don't think it probably would have been, but I just wanted to make sure that it didn't look odd, that it didn't take away from the, the layout. So that's another little trick with your fussy cutting if you can't get in really, really tight. is just take some of your colored markers and color your edges just a little bit. And all you have to do is just rub the, the tip of your marker around it and, you know, just real quick. So I'm just putting foam dots um, behind that so that it's able to be popped up. The large photo, I just matted it on white paper. You saw me do that. And the smaller photos, like I said, I matted those with that blue kind of wave paper. Um, I just wanted something to really pop those. I didn't want it to be the main interest, but... I didn't want them lost on that white paper since the bathtub's kind of white. Everything was, those photos were just kind of the same color as the background paper. So I just wanted a little bit of uh, pop behind them. And the, I matted the large photo to do the same thing, to pop it up off that background. And I'll put some yellow strips behind it too to, to ground it. Um, but I wanted your eye to really be drawn to that photo first and then down to the two smaller ones. And you'll notice I've, I've got all these kind of strips of papers and I'm playing around. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a real visual. I admire these people that just 
pull out paper and they start cutting all these different shapes and they're just putting it down like they're not even thinking about it you know they just they just know that it's gonna work and I am just so totally the opposite I have to see it down on the deal and go oh and see I even had to put my hand up there to see okay I'm only gonna, only gonna have a little bit it's not gonna be like a, a big bulk of black up there um, so I'm I'm really really a visual so I just kind of play until I I kind of figure out um, I, I definitely wanted that black up there because um, it felt like everything was just kind of falling off the page and so that helped kind of border out and then I wanted that blue wave as part of the torn paper that shows on that sketch just to help mimic the waves um, from the well and on the background paper and just the thought of water. I just thought that paper was really perfect for all of that. And truthfully, I have not torn paper in years, probably. Um, it's something that used to be really big and popular, and and I guess it's, you know, kind of coming back or whatever, and I was kind of hesitant to do it. But I absolutely love how it ended up on this page. It just, I don't know if it's because of the water effect and all of that and, the, and just the paper, but it's... I just really, really liked it. So you'll probably see me, excuse me, you'll probably see me tearing some more paper and we'll, we'll find out <laughs> what it is that I thought was so nice about it. But I really do like it. Um, so these are the little uh, yellow strips and they're from um, down by the shore too. I think everything so far is down by the shore. That black strip is from Close to My Heart and it's from the Snow Haven collection. And I have that little tiny one, and I keep trying to kind of pop it in somewhere else because I felt like I needed to repeat it. But I ended up not using it at all. It, I just I just didn't really need it. Um, the blue polka dot circle background. Um, that one, let's see, what is that paper? That is from Fancy Pants as well, I believe. Was it from the park bench? I had um, Fancy Pants Park Bench. Actually, that yellow diagonal stripe at the bottom, that's from the Park Bench collection. Um, and I think maybe the polka dot is too. I didn't write down. I have, a, I have that part written down, but I'm just not sure. So I just put some of those yellow strips to help ground that circle. And I'm I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of this and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew across the top and when I come back I'll kind of point out the areas that I that I stitched on but I, I just stitched across the top and I got really brave and I stitched around the circle and my sewing machine is, is really not a very good sewing machine and so I was really tempting fate with that one but it didn't turn out too bad and then I stitched across the yellow strips as well. I just put one just kind of through the center, but you know, not specifically center. It's just haphazard across those. And let's see. Yeah, I'm just, since that paper was going to go behind the circle, I'm just, I had a not a full strip all the way across so I'm just making it work behind there so that I don't have to cut into more of my large sheet of paper I can just go ahead and use it because they were plenty wide strips just just not a full 12 inches so when I'm putting these yellow strips down I keep kind of going back and forth I have this one that's a striped and then on the back side of the yellow ones was this really pretty border that had the dark blue. And again, I kept thinking I needed to repeat that little bit of black somewhere. But every time I tried to put it in, it just felt like it was too distracting to the layout. So I end up going back to that same strip that I had planned in the beginning. So here's where I'm showing exactly where I, where I stitched on. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put my photo on. And then the sketch calls for a banner. So I went and got my art booking cartridge and I cut a banner from it. So that is the banner. And I just cut it out of some of the blue kind of pattern paper and I stitched across it. Now that was really, really brave because that's really thin, but I actually made it. And then I used some really tiny um, pop dots so that I can pop that up 
off the page as well. And then I'm just going to start pulling out stickers. And I'll tell you now, I'm going to apologize. I'm not sure if it's when I went to my sewing machine, I turned on another light. And so now there's a really bad glare and something happens to my camera or something. I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but it's, it's kind of like it's cutting in and out and some glare. So I hope you'll bear with me as I figure out everything. My one, my flip camera totally quit working. And so now I'm filming with a different camera. I'm working with a different setup. We're working on lights, trying to figure out the best light so that it's, it's a good clear picture without the glare like that one is on the photo. Um, or that it doesn't um, cause it to get real fuzzy because it was getting fuzzy. So hopefully I can get all the camera issues worked out. And my camera kept shutting off, so at the end you're not going to see the full thing. I just I keep turning it back on and trying, and finally I just like forget it. It's enough done. You'll see the still shots. You'll figure it out. <laughs> I did, and I try to go through and show you the product that I used and stuff. But just had a lot of issues, and my. Um, iMovie has given me fits ever since I updated to um, Yosemite, so this this one was just a, a labor-intensive video, and it should not have been. So here I just, I have those same My Mind's Eye cut-and-paste stickers that I have been using and, and hopefully finishing up soon to put a date sticker on. This flare badge is from the October Afternoon Daily Flash pen and it just says capture the everyday and then I have some stickers from the true friend collection that I just got in that I just love this collection and so this little um, tab it said happy and that's just totally my son so I kind of added it to the top and then I have another one at the bottom that says laugh out loud because he used to just sit and laugh um, he was born laughing and he would just make the entire room laugh with him. I had no idea what he was laughing at, but it was just funny. And so I kind of, I keep moving it around and around and around until I finally settle on just below the photo. Um, it seemed like everywhere else it was getting too distracting, um, again, and taken away from the focal point that I wanted. Um, and then I still wanted a little bit more. And so I have the LA Studios, um, cut apart pennants that I've been using as well and so I find one of those to tuck up underneath the the happy tab and then on the title I used the um, Teresa Collins nine and company that same alpha sheet that I've been using it seems like everything's still sitting out on my desk or close so I'm I'm using up everything and so I ended up just spelling out bath time underneath the circle in the main photo and I stitched across the top of, of that as well because it's the small um, square alphas that sometimes they pop off and move and everything so I just stitched down over it. So here's where I'm going back and trying to fill in and tell you everything that I, that I did because the camera just wouldn't cooperate. Um, I had another sticker from the true friend that says everyday life that went across the main photo and then the blue epoxy. So here are the still shots. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out Nuts About Sketches. There's a free sketch every week that you can play along with, and you can find me on my blog at tinkerscrapplace.blogspot.com or on Facebook at My Scrappy Ideas, and the links for Instagram and Pinterest are there too. Thanks for watching.